Hello there. Welcome to Triple S. This is episode number 10. This is my buddy, Phantom. He is a Walmart Python. Many of you have seen him. He is actually the only Walmart Python I have now. I ended up selling Sandman because I didn't want two males. And um, one day I'll get him a girlfriend, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'll get into breeding the Walmas, but... They're very beautiful snakes and very hyper and active and everything. And very friendly and calm. And he's a pig. He didn't eat very much in the winter, but he's got his appetite back now. Just a little bit of warm weather goes a long way. But, um, we'll just let him hang out while we, well, get on with the show. Do you like my snazzy necklace there? Anyways, I'll get started with questions and comments. I poked him in the head with my arm and he jumped. <laughs> now we'll get started with questions and comments. Ah, here we go. My favorite comment on my last video was from Tyler. And he says, oh my god, that thunder at the beginning scared the crap out of me. It's nearly 3 a.m. and my headphones were cranked all the way up. And I was just minding my own business and BAM! I think I jumped about 10 feet. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry it scared you, Tyler, but I got to say, I'm glad you shared that with me because I laughed over and over and over. Even an hour later, it runs through my mind and I giggle again. But uh, thanks for watching my videos, and at least you were wide awake there to pay attention. Um, just kidding. Um, another comment I got from Caulking Shinobi, I think that's how you say it. He says, my God, Jason, you're looking absolutely fantastic. Keep up whatever you're doing. And your blood python looks great, too. Well, thank you very much. It's been a long road, but in the last six months, I've dropped 60 pounds. I'm going to try to lose around 20, 25 more, but we'll see how it goes. But thank you very much. I've actually got quite a few comments from you guys telling me that I'm looking better, lost a lot of weight, you guys can see a big difference, and I appreciate that. It, it makes my day much better and uh, I'm feeling so much better I have more energy and that's good because I got a handful of babies that want me to have a lot of energy because they all like to come out and play I got a question from boa dude 44 that says do you go field herping well I would love to say yes all the time but actually I stay pretty busy with the little zoo that I have I haven't really been field herping in a long, long time. And I guess when I really have been field herping, it's more by accident because I've been hiking or something and I just kind of look around and just for a moment. Sometimes I'll see something. But I have almost been killed a couple of times trying to save animals from being in the middle of the road, whether it be on the interstate or on a highway or whatever. And um, I guess the most memorable experience saving an animal out of the road would be this rather large, rather unfriendly snapping turtle. Now, he was about a foot long, his shell, and uh, I explained to him that I was just trying to help. I stopped in the middle of the highway. He's right dead in the center of the highway, and he is not in a good mood. Apparently, traffic pisses him off. And there was a lot of traffic, so he was really pissed. But I wanted to help him. And he wanted to eat me. Really. I mean, he kept trying to bite me. I mean, this thing could move pretty fast. So, I'm in the middle of the road, or middle of the highway. Cars were coming, honking their horn, flipping me off, yelling at me and everything. Get out of the road! And here's this snapping turtle. And he's just not going to get out of the road on his own before he gets killed. So, um, picking him up is not an option because he could take your fingers off in one chomp. So, there was no sticks around, of course. I looked on the side of the road in between cars hunting for anything. Nothing at all to move this turtle. So, I ran around in circles trying to get him tired. Yeah, I looked pretty silly in the middle of the highway. Five o'clock in the afternoon, traffic everywhere, running around in circles. And this turtle was keeping up with me for a long time. He was going to bite me if it was the last thing he ever did. Well, that's what he thought. 
Well, it was summertime. I had shorts on, tank top, and little foam flip-flops. You know, not much protection for your feet. Well, he finally got a little tired, and I got behind him for a split second. I only had one second to help him. And with that split second, I kicked that turtle across the road and into the ditch. It was either kick him or let him get smushed. Now, I definitely do not want you to think it is okay to ever hit or kick an animal unless maybe in this one situation where it's the only thing keeping it from life and death. Plus, he had a hard shell, so I'm sure it didn't make his day, but it did make his life. So, uh, yeah, that, that was, uh, I guess, good that we saved the turtle. Bad that I had to kick the turtle. And bad for me, because my foot hurt for a week. Didn't break my toes, but it felt like it. But anyways, do not kick animals unless that's the only way to get them out of the road. Now, as for me, I almost got hit twice again going back to my car. Yeah, I had to go look in the ditch to make sure he's okay and landed right side up. Turned around, almost got hit. Starting to get into my car, almost got hit again. So, um, do not stop in the middle of the interstate. Unless you're over 18 and can make that decision by yourself. I want you all to be careful. But that's a reminder, you know, when you're driving. Keep an eye not only on the road and the cars in front of you and what you're doing in your car, but try to watch out for our little critters. Because uh, they're all special, even if they try to eat you. Um, some wonderful news for you. Many people have commented and sent me emails asking about the rescue boa that I featured in episode number 9 that my friends Rob and Gina took in. It was an awful, awful shape. Many people told me after they saw what kind of shape it was, they were in tears, as was, was I. But um, you guys seen how much better it was doing. And I have been in contact with my friends Rob and Gina. And they are happy to report that it's even doing much better and the one wound that was left on its back that looked a little bit serious, that we weren't sure it was infected and it was being medicated and everything, is almost completely healed as well. So almost every one of the wounds is either healing, almost gone, or already healed up. And it's gaining more weight. It's eating better each time. And uh, I have been invited back to do another update on it. And I'll probably do that in a month or two, give it a little more time to put on some more extra weight. And so it'll have an, like an even more dramatic difference. And I might pull a clip from before, you know, when I went to visit it. Now, um, but it's doing great. And they all appreciated all the kind comments and well wishes. So, um, Fanta, honey, you're going to lose your leverage here. He's uh, starting to back up. He's got just a little bit of his tail on my shoulder here and a little bit here. And if he takes this all the way back there, he's going to fall off. So we're just going to hang on to him until he gets a better grip. But um, people ask me all the time, you know, how, how do you take care of all those animals? Well, they're my babies. They're my children. You know, it doesn't really seem like work. You know, even when I know there's not a dirty cage down here, and um, it's the middle of the day or middle of the night or whenever, I just come down here to see what they're doing, you know, just to see if anybody's moving around, you know. Snakes are not the most hyper animals, especially the tree snakes, the tree pythons and boas and stuff. They sit still almost all day, you know. But if I come downstairs and anybody's moving, I'm just so excited. So, you know, I just love all the babies, and that's important. You know, if you're going to get a reptile, you really need to take care of it. But, um, I mean, I get asked a lot of questions, and a lot of questions, they are waiting for me to answer, and I just don't understand why, if they can get on YouTube, why they can't go to Google and type in, you know, red tail boa care sheet or ball python care sheet so you can get the answer right away. Don't ever wait for me to give you an answer. You know, I try to answer things as quick as I can, but if you've already got an animal that needs an answer right away, first of all, shame on you for not finding out all this stuff before you got the animal. And second of all, do what you can to fix the problem immediately. Don't sit around and wait for an email or a comment. Look it up. If you have a computer, then you can find out almost anything. I have had a request for another Marathon of Strikes video, or actually a couple of them. I've got five episodes up, and for those that of you 
out there not seen the Marathon of Strikes episodes, they're usually three or four minutes long, and you can see like 20, 25 snakes just strike at their prey and constrict it. It's very entertaining because that is the best part of watching them feed, and that way you don't have to see the whole thing. Probably never going to have a video of everybody eating from start to finish because it'd probably be four hours long or more. So uh, don't worry, but the Marathon Strikes are pretty entertaining. Now, I haven't done one lately because my snakes don't eat as often or as large of meals in the wintertime. But now that it's warming back up, their appetites are increasing. Some of the males that go off feed are starting to come around. Merlin hasn't started eating again yet. I think it's a little bummed out because I didn't let him breed with Medusa. But he'll come around. But uh, I specifically had a request for a feeding video of just Jafar. And I don't have a feeding video of just Jafar, and I thought... Well, that's a pretty good idea, so I'll try to do that. That didn't quite work out for me. I'll show you a couple of clips of a few of them striking at their prey, and I'll show you what happened when I was about to start on a feeding video for Jafar. Let's go check that out right now. Hang on, honey. We're going to go away now. Hello, Mortician. Are you hungry? You're all the way to the top. Wait, you can't go over there. Hey, silly. Don't you want it? You're not hungry? I guess he is. You want it? I guess so. Medusa. There it is. There it is. Get it. Medusa, come on. Oh, right in the water dish. Oh, sweetie. It's not a good idea to put your hand in here, but I think she's got the rat. Hello, Jafar. I'm sorry you were last, but we're going to make a video for you. there, baby. You look very handsome today. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You ready to eat? Okay. You sit tight a few minutes. And I'm gonna go get you a rat. Let's see. We gotta find your lid. Here we go. Be right back with the rat. I haven't got to see you in such a long time. You look so handsome and you've gotten so big. You look hungry. Yes, you do. I think I could fix that for you. <laughs> oh, look what I got for you. You won't be hungry anymore. <laughs> oh, come here. Look what mommy has for you. Ooh, Jafar. Looky there. Are you hungry? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Get it. Come on, boy. Yay! <laughs> you go, honey. Whoa. I know there was a rat in here for Jafar. Is that good? I'm so glad, darling. Ooh, look at all these beautiful creatures, my goodness. He certainly has a beautiful collection. Yes, he does. You're the most handsome. Wow, my goodness. Ooh, Jason's coming. I'll be right back. Jafar, I'm so... Whoa! How did you get a rat? Wow, Jason, you have got to get more sleep. I don't even remember giving it to him. Jason! Oh, Venus! It's me! 
<laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> oh, you scared the mm out of me. Wow, you gave that rat to him. Oh, Jafar didn't mind getting fed early. I thought I was going nuts. Oh my goodness, well it's good to see you and you look fabulous. Oh, thank you. I do have plans tonight. I am going to a very special party with a very hot guy. <laughs> and if you like my dress, a street guy is bound to love it, let's hope. <laughs> I hope you have a great time. Jafar, he's eating it, but first, did you teach him that, Jason? No, I'm just kidding. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. I'm just kidding. I can never get mad at you, Venus. And you know I have to kid you once in a while. <laughs> but I really do have to get going. I don't want to keep my date waiting. Brr. Hope you can stay longer next time. Love ya. I love you too, Jason. Bye. Bye, dear. Okay. Now you can see why I didn't exactly get the feeding video that I wanted to of Jafar. Venus knows she pulled one over on me and she is still laughing about it now. Teasing me about it all the time because I really thought I was losing my mind. I knew I saved that one rat for last so I could make a good feeding video of Jafar. I mean, I hate to put him off to last, but you know, gotta get all the other babies out of the way so I can take a few extra minutes to film him. I go upstairs to get it, rat's gone. I come downstairs, Jafar's eating a rat. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh my gosh. How did that rat get down here? What the heck? Did it come back to life, learn to swim, and go feed itself to Jafar? And there was Venus, and I knew exactly what was going on then. She's a practical joker. But she's friendly, unlike Belladonna. But anyways, my favorite video recently is by Mr. Serpent 89 Now this is a feeding video, and he's feeding two green tree pythons, his albino boa and his sun glow. And he's feeding them live. So if that bothers you, don't click the link. But it's going to be right here. And it's also going to be below. But if you would like to check it out, it's really good feeding video clips, you know. I like to see snakes eat live sometimes. Especially if the keeper's right there watching it. And of course, he's filming it. He's right there watching to make sure the rat doesn't chew on the snake or anything. But it is kind of cool to see him eat live. You know, and I was kind of sad to a degree. But he's also got a little clip at the end of it. It was lipstick sun glow. And that's really cool, too. So definitely check out the video if the live feeding's not going to bother you. Okay, new member of the reptile community. His username is The Vein Man. Um, he's got a few feeding videos up of his, uh, I think it's the king snake and corn snake and boa. But my favorite video he's made is his first video about his red tail boa setup. It's amazing. I mean, that little boa is going to be a very happy camper for a very long time. So definitely check that out and welcome him to the community. And uh, I guess that's it. So we'll... Okay. Well, you about ready to go home? Because I'm about ready to go. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.